Hey guys, Mr. Mars here. I just wanted to do a review of my brand new, well not really brand new, I just got it, but um, 1937 uh, Smith & Wesson Handy Jack Model 10. It was, um, it was an M, it's an M&P. Uh, it looks like someone nickel plated it a long time ago, though. Um, I really like it. I just got it a few days ago. It was a birthday gift from a friend. So, there we go. Some of the nickel plating has been, has worn off. I mean, it's a real fun shooter. It's real accurate. I uh, did have a problem with some reloads I did. I made the reloads a little bit too light. And I got a squib that was caught in the barrel. Um, yeah, that was easy to get out, get out, though. I just used a cleaning rod and just tapped it out. Yeah, I love this gun. It's real, like, it looks like someone did it. Like, just checking it to see if it's empty. Oh. And I already did, but just to be safe. But, it looks like someone did a trigger job on it. I mean, like, you just look at that funny and it goes off. And the travel on the hammer is actually not that far, too. It's a real light trigger. It's, real li it, it's a real light gun. Very evenly balanced. I was really glad that I was given this. Um, this is a really, really, really nice gun. Um, I really like it. I actually am thinking about getting my carry permit soon, but it's really hard to get it in uh, California where I live. Yeah. Gun laws out here are not very friendly. <laughs> but yeah, this this one actually would be my carry gun because I got a lot of jackets with inside pockets that this actually fits perfectly in. It's a six inch. It's a 38. It's a 38 special. And from the serial number. And the serial number from what I looked up, it was made in late 1937. <clears throat> I mean, it's, it's still in really great shape. I mean, the rifling on this. Let me see. Let me see that. The rifling on this is actually really good. I just got a little bit of oxidation on the trigger and some of the hammer. It's still oiled up right now. I just cleaned it yesterday. Yeah, I really like it. I'm actually going to be making new grips out of buffalo horn, and I'll post a video. Oh, I'll post a um, time lapse video of me doing that. Uh, eventually, when I can actually get the horn, they'll be black. They'll kind of look like ebony, but they'll they'll be pretty much bone. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to do a quick review on this on this gun. It's a 1937 Smith and Wesson M&P hand eject 38. Uh, I really like it. It's a great gun, good shooter. Share this video. Give me some support. Like I'm still trying to make more videos. Um, still trying to get the hang of everything. Uh, just let me know what you think. Let me know what you guys want to see. What I could do better. I mean, like, don't be too harsh now. <laughs> Um, yeah, let me know what you want to see, and I can do reloading videos, too. And it's not, everything's not just going to be guns. Just remember that. Not all of it, all my videos are going to be guns. It's going to be hiking, there's going to be some cooking, there's going to be, um, time-lapse videos on making stuff. There's going to be time-lapse videos on designing things. There's going to be, um, exploring, there's going to be some comedy stuff, there's going to be podcasts, there's going to be, um, video blogs with me and my friends. Um, it's not all just going to be about guns, it's going to be about a random array of things. Like, it'll fix, it'll, it'll suit anyone that is actually interested. Um, it'll be a fun channel. Uh, just let me know what you guys want to see, and I'll more than likely be able to do it. Uh, Alright, thanks. Thanks for watching.